We'll start with an RX FW561 size 10 uh, Bobless Nymph hook. This is uh, a large burrowing mayfly nymph and we just attach our tying thread at the back go back so far take a small bunch of pheasant tail fibers now I like to exaggerate the features of this nymph it kind of I like to make it stand out from the natural a little so the tail and the legs and the wing case are larger than life so we just tie, take those in at the back and we can go up so we want to go a little bit over halfway. Yep, I'll do it. That's good. Then we can go back to about there. Take our. This is a uh, UTC uh, brown copper wire, quite heavy. We want to tie this in at the back and go forward just to cover it and go back up again to the tail base. Pull that out of the way. Then I'm using some uh, nymph skin, virtual nymph. This is natural. So, what you want to do is you just want to cut this take a small strip just cut it as a short angle like that and then we'll just go over tie that down and I can go back up a little bit tighter turns on the way back up now so we can just build a little bit of a taper on the underbody Then we take our nymph skin and we can start to wrap this. Don't want to wrap it too tight because then we'll lose the segmenting. So we just want to go up over the body. Try and keep the Segmenting nice and even. There we are. Then I can tie this off. Like so. Pull that back. Now we can stretch it to trim it off so it disappears. So that's good. Take our brown wire and we want to follow the segmenting up the body. Very simple pattern, it doesn't take a vast amount of skill so it can it's a good pattern for new beginners but it's also fishes very well I just go over the wire there that adds and you can go make as many wraps as you like under the thorax to give it extra weight if you wish then we can bend this pheasant tail back over this is going to be part of the wing case and just go over like that let's make a little foundation under the thorax up tight into the abdomen that's good that's good then we take another bunch of pheasant tail fibers uh, with the tips level I place this on top this is going to be the wing case as well and the legs. As I said, I want the legs a little bit larger than life. 
we just go over that keep them together that's good and we go back up over the thorax again tight into the abdomen just make sure you've got enough there for a large wing case that will do us nicely then I want some cream dubbing this is a homemade dubbing uh, out of squirrel and muskrat and a little synthetics and just open our tying thread flatten it out split it now we don't need much dubbing so we just put that's more than enough I reckon and we'll spin up just centre it a little bit there we are just pull out the spikiness of it make it a little bit more spiky then we want the thickest part of the thorax at the rear and then we can fold the other forward back there we go and we split the pheasant tail at the front kind of half and half pull these back and then we can just go back a wee ways to hold them in position a spiky bit there that's good and we take our wing case try and get the fibres parallel here so they're not crossing it makes for a nicer fly one that won't play most definitely won't play there we are have him that's good you can see they're all level now and we pull that over and we make a Turn at the back, make a few turns there, and we can pull that up, trim off that, go back down to the hook eye, pull everything back, work our way up, build up a little head. finisher and remove the tying thread and that's the finished burrowing mayfly nymph with a uh, virtual nymph nymph skin body if you enjoy the videos please like and subscribe and thanks for watching